All right Chelsea fans here we go again and you're back here talking about Chelsea FC and today we'll cover some interesting news about this club but before we begin we've actually made it to the Champions League semi-finals for the first time in the last 7 years so it's definitely worth celebrating another reason to hope as we look to get our hands on some kind of silverware and the Tuchel and we would also congratulate every Chelsea player coaching staff and everyone part of this big blue family that made it possible Before we begin, I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And once you're done, let's dive right into this video. Thiago Silva will be out of contract at the end of the season, but has hinted that he could stay another year at Stamford Bridge as he targets a place in Brazil's 2022 World Cup squad. I hope to continue like this. The 36-year-old told Sky Sport, "I want to continue to play at this level and get to the World Cup of 2022." He definitely contributes a lot to our squad with his experience, and I feel it will help the young players at Chelsea to improve our game. He is 36, but still commits to tackles and interceptions like he's 21. He has to keep himself fit and avoid injuries, and I feel he can still play for Chelsea for a few years. The problem with Chelsea is that they mostly only provide players above the age of 30 with one-year contract. tracks and Silva shouldn't expect much like Willian. Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola says he would have no problem with Sergio Aguero joining a Premier League rival in the summer transfer window. A host of clubs across Europe have been linked with the striker who will leave the Etihad Stadium at the end of the season after a glittering career in Manchester. I personally don't think Aguero will remain in the Premier League and most likely think he'll either end up in the La Liga or in some Italian side. I also feel we should go for some young physical striker if we really are looking for a Werner Abraham replacement up top. We have Giroud and if the manager isn't playing him, I doubt he'd go for Aguero as it really makes no sense. Giroud too can score some great goals but lacks pace and stamina. The Blues have turned around their season after changing managers in January. Mason Mount has stuck up on Thomas Tuchel's big impact at Chelsea after the team advanced past Porto to reach the Champions League semi-final. The Blues have thrived under a new manager who took over for Frank Lampard earlier this year and has just lost twice in his nearly 3 months in charge. Tuchel has had a big impact, Mason Mount said to BT Sport. It's difficult to come in midway through a season, but he has had a big impact on the players. We have known from day one what he has wanted and implemented it in the games. We are working hard in training and it is showing. We are looking solid as a team. We have been performing at a high level. We need to continue that. We will take anyone in the semi-finals. We are ready for the fight and the battle. We get to sit down and watch it and really analyze it. We will be ready for anyone. Mason Mount said we are buzzing. We are in a good position at the moment. We know we are playing well but we have big big games coming up. We have a FA Cup semi-final and we go into each game with the confidence we can win. We need to do that in the league as well. Tuchel definitely has turned it around for us and we really need to be patient with him. We can see a unique gameplay that Tuchel has brought into the club and he has a system of play that can be seen. He needs to be given more time and if he can start the same way in the new season, we definitely can be in a title race. Mason Mount is excited with the potential of Chelsea's new looking front three with the England international thriving for the Blues alongside Christian Pulisic and Kai Havertz. Mount told Chelsea's official website of working alongside Pulisic and Germany international Havertz. I don't think it has come together like that since our first game together. It was always coming. It was always brewing. We started off very sharp. At the top of the pitch our combinations were good. We were creating chances and we took them. That's something we probably haven't been doing as much recently. Mason Mount says we know we have a lot of quality in the team and when we are on it we are creating chances we can score a lot of goals it hadn't happened like that but it has now and that's great for us we came into the game with a lot of confidence after Porto knowing what we can do as a team we felt very strong we know that this is on the line we are still in three competitions so every game is so important The Germany international isn't a combative figure, but he still is highly valued by the Blues manager. Thomas Tuchel has said Kai Havertz will never be a fiery personality like Diego Costa was at Chelsea, but insisted the young attacker can still shine as a most subdued figure. He is simply not that guy that will fully feel or you will see and rage. Thomas Tuchel told reporters after the match, "Some guys you feel they have to fight with others to get a certain momentum. He is not a Diego Costa kind of guy. This is simple. I will never demand he will become this." Sometimes you cannot confuse with his body language that he doesn't give everything. 
He's a very quiet character and we are aware of his quality. I don't know a level that he is reaching and how fast he can do it. I can just repeat that he stepped out of his comfort zone coming from Leverkusen to the Premier League. You want to challenge yourself. He is here and it is up to him to show the quality. He has shown already very strong performance against Everton and Atletico for us. He had a tough match against Porto and the speech was very easy. Go and show you can do better and fight for your place. He gets second chance and he took that. He can be even more ruthless in finishing because he has an extra quality. He doesn't have to be an emotional leader because he is not that guy and that is not necessary. But in terms of controlling the ball, keeping it in the difficult situations, having little runs, being in high positions and having good finishing, this is what we demand. He needs to show up and show up. This is life and as offensive player at Chelsea. That's all the news we got for this week and we have a big match coming up that will be played on Saturday as we face Manchester City to qualify for the FA Cup final. It will really be difficult and our players need to give it their all if they want to win some silverware. Chelsea will face Real Madrid in the semi-finals of the Champions League too. That's it for now. If you watched the video till here, let me know if Chelsea should extend Silva's contract or maybe keep hold of Tomori. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel too. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Goodbye.